Good Friday evening, everybody. It's Friday, September 10th, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Glad you're tuning in with us here on a Friday night. If you're not watching uh, Friday Night Football, then we're glad you're here with us. Uh, or maybe you're going to watch this and then head out and watch some football. I think, uh, what did I see? Verona's at Madison West tonight. Uh, so you got that going on. Uh, another uh, battle. What is border battle, we want to say? I don't even know that you say border battle because it's in our school district. So it's like a school district border battle. Like, do you have to throw something extra in it? I don't know. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> we already got the question of the day in. All right. Now we'll move on. <laughs> Just a random thought by uh, this guy. Yeah. Well, I'm still here, and we still got a lot to get to here on Talking Fitchburg. We'll get you the latest headlines, though, as we work in the weekend. So many fun things happening this weekend. I think the 9-11 tribute will be happening this weekend already 20 years. Uh, it's hard to believe. Um, it's something we'll never forget, and uh, we'll be uh, talking about uh, a, a ceremony that will be taking place right here in the city of Fitchburg uh, tomorrow morning. That will be part of our headlines. We're going to replay our construction update from yesterday. Andrew uh, McFadden was here, gave us our update yesterday. But I want to get it in this weekend. Because of all the activities happening uh, across the weekend, I mean, all across the city, be, and there's a, there's closures, lane change, all of that is happening this weekend. So I want to make sure to get that in there again uh, so you're ready to go as you uh, travel around uh, Fitchburg. And then we're going to check in with the Fitchburg Public Library, get our monthly update uh, with them. So a lot to get to uh, as we work through this Friday evening. First one we're going to start with is that face covering uh, update. This is an er emergency order update number two. This went in effect this morning at 12.01 a.m. Face covering emergency order requires face coverings among people ages 2 and older when in an enclosed space open to the public where other people, except for members of the person's own household or living unit, are present. Two exemptions were added, uh, and that was pertaining to playing wind instruments and presenting or performing. In both cases, certain criteria must be met to remove masks. And you can find those uh, details uh, on the Public Health of Madison and Dane County's website. Uh, we'll share the link here where we've got the story so you can check in on that. All right, talking about uh, road closures uh, and road impacts for the weekend, we'll start with the McCoy Road. This uh, closed this morning. Uh, and runs through September 14th. Wisconsin and Southern Railroad is upgrading the railroad crossing on McCoy Road and the bike path right next to it. So it's not just the road there. It's also the bike path. Uh, so please use local routes while construction is taking place. The closure dates may change. Uh, I don't think the road's closed, so I think we're good on that front. Uh, just if it would be extended because of the rain, but I don't... Uh, haven't heard anything yet, but uh, we'll keep you posted on that regardless. Uh, but you have the map there, uh, and that is the crossing as crews uh, were getting ready uh, yesterday uh, for the closure this morning. The project is uh, coordinated with the Ironman event taking place uh, this weekend, uh, September uh, 12th, uh, and plus uh, part of the Wisconsin Department of Transportation's project. So it's all in coordination with that. If you have any questions, though, you can contact our Public Works Department, Thomas Balwig, He's uh, the project to contact at 608-270-4226 if you would like more information on that closure. All right. Uh, also, we've got Mayor Aaron Richardson will be presenting a Hispanic Heritage Month proclamation. He'll be doing this uh, in recognizing Hispanic Heritage Month uh, September 15th through October 15th as uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. The public is invited to attend the presentation at the council chambers at City Hall, 5520 Lacey Road. You may also watch live using one of the many viewing options uh, we have here at Fact TV. There they are. And uh, we uh, always uh, broadcast our meetings, uh, most of them live, uh, at those uh, locations. So we'd love to have you join us for that. But you can always come in person. If you do come in person, please note uh, about the Public Health of Madison-Dane County guidelines related to COVID-19. So masking is required uh, at this time. Happening this weekend, uh, we've got a lot of events to get to. Uh, first, we'll start with the 9-11 tribute uh, happening tomorrow morning. The City of Fitchburg will hold the 9-11 Memorial Ceremony as time of reflection and remem remembrance at the fire station, uh, Fitchburg Fire Station Number 1. That's at 5791 Lacey Road here in Fitchburg, and that will be uh, 
the Saturday, September 11th, beginning at 8.30 a.m. on this 20th anniversary of the terror attacks at the World Trade Center at Pentagon in uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Fire Chief Joe Pulvamacher explained, we will pay tribute to the lives lost on September 11th and those who died uh, since due to illness or psychological impact. The ceremony will include remarks by Chief Pulvamacher and uh, Fitchburg's Mayor Aaron Richardson. In Memorial Bell, a ceremony acknowledged uh, the loved ones lost as a result of the World Trade Center tragedy. Members of the Fitchburg, er, Fire and Police Honor Guard of Fitchburg will be on hand to present and assist with the ceremony of the lowering of the U.S. flag. And due to the increase of COVID cases, residents may wish to watch the memorial ceremony. We'll have it live here. In fact, we've got a lot of live events coming up here. And, yes, we will be broadcasting this. I'm going to be out there tomorrow morning uh, with this event. Uh, so uh, you can tune in here uh, on the comm channel and all of those uh, places where you can find those. Uh, if you do come out, uh, please uh, wear a mask uh, if you do plan to attend here in person for the ceremony. Other things happening this weekend. We've got uh, the Kids Building Wisconsin uh, happening uh, this uh, Saturday. Sprinkled across beautiful McKee Farms Park. There will be over a dozen exhibit stations run by local trades and other event participants with fun interactive exhibits of all kind. This is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at McKee Farms Park. It's free to attend. You can come on out. And as you can see from the map here, there's a lot of uh, activities uh, to be had. So you can check out uh, all the great vendors there. Is that uh, 29 uh, or 39, right? <clears throat> 39 different uh, attraction uh, pieces there uh, related. So uh, hopefully you can make it out for this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Also happening tomorrow, we've got the uh, first uh, Bike Fitchburg Bike Rodeo happening. And this is going to be taking place uh, at the New Fountains Apartment at 5401 Williamsburg Way from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Stop on out. Anybody is welcome to join. And it says here that uh, it's sort of like if you've been biking for a little bit, you're going to build on those skills. Certainly new bikers can come out there uh, for it, but... Definitely, if you've been biking a little bit, uh, even the young ones just learning, uh, this would be the opportunity uh, for you to test out those skills and learn. There's many stations uh, that will be a part of this, and uh, we look forward to, uh, we'll be out and covering all these events this weekend, so we'll bring you some of these events uh, back here on Monday's edition of Talking Fitchburg. Also, the second annual Madison Brewery bike race is taking place, so if you're like, well, I'm just, I need something, <laughs> something to do this weekend. Well, what's better than biking and drinking beer? I don't know. <laughs> Join us uh, on September 11th for the second annual Madison Brewery Bike Race. There is no March course. Just get from one brewery to the other. It sounds harder than it is, right? <laughs> Just get one to the other. And you can go as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Race uh, time. Uh... Uh, race for uh, time or just ride for fun. <laughs> Online registration closes at 8 p.m. tonight. So if you're uh, wanting to take part in this, you got through 8 p.m. tonight to get registered for this. And all you got to do is show up to uh, the uh, Delta Beer Lab uh, at 11 a.m. And uh, you need to finish the race by 4 p.m. <laughs> I just think this is great. <clears throat> we'll be out there uh, covering this one as well. And uh, we'll have to see. See if uh, somebody's, like, really uh, going to, like, hammer down, like, a beer, then, like, race as hard as they can into the other brewery, and then race, drink that beer, and then race all the way back. I don't know how long it would actually take. Uh, can you get it done in an hour? I don't know. Another question of the day posted out there. All right. We were talking about traffic impacts for this weekend. Uh, we have the uh, Iron Man race uh, this weekend. And as you know uh, from past years, the bike course uh, runs through Fitchburg. So here is the overall map. Uh, but I will tell you the turns here in Fitchburg. So uh, they'll be coming uh, right off of County Highway MM. Uh, that uh, goes on to uh, McCoy uh, and up uh, through the construction. You've got right on Irish Lane, left on Kane Road, right on Wayland Road, right on County Route M. So uh, be ready this weekend. You'll have that uh, uh, going on here. Net, did I say that, Ron? Actually, I think I might not. I don't know that they're actually going to be. Are they on McCoy? Bam, like, can you can you tell that? Oh, hey, thank you. You just put it up behind me so I can see that. Yeah, going past, uh, I have to back up here. Yeah, they are going uh, pretty far up, uh, up to uh, Whalen there. So 
either way, keep a lookout for them. Uh, there'll be uh, officers out there uh, at the different intersections helping these people, or maybe uh, uh, the race uh, folks, too, will be out there uh, helping out. So be on the lookout for that, no matter what, uh, as that happens this weekend. All right, that does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up our digest with your road construction update. Next, right here on Talking Fitchburg. Hey, boss. Okay. I said I'm fine. Hey, son. Hey, Bob. You know you can talk to me. Yeah. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. Ready! That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. And especially this year, no one has time to get sick. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you, too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today from uh, Public Works Department, uh, our favorite engineer, Andrew McFadden. Andrew, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hi, Jeremy. How are you doing? Doing well. Glad to have you on here. Uh, we'll get a construction update in. A lot of different projects going on right now. And uh, I uh, chuckle there because there's just, uh, it's switches, closures, work, work, work. It's just happening uh, a little bit uh, all over the place. So uh, we'll start with Fish Hatchery Road uh, and the uh, signs are up uh, for a traffic switch coming up. Tell us about this. Yep. Yeah. And I feel like towards, you know, the latter half, uh, you know, the construction season, we, we usually get in this crunch time where, you know, a lot of jobs are, are wrapping up this, this year being no exception. Um, yeah, I guess the big two changes coming up uh, tomorrow, so Friday, um, would be we're switching over to the southern half of McKee, so basically the newly constructed portions of McKee and Caddis. Um, and so McKee, Caddis, it, you know, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Just note that if you're driving there, you're going to be shifting over a little bit while we can, you know, reconstruct the north half. But McKee gets a little bit uh, trickier. I'll, I'll just really quickly show um, a graphic because it always helps me to walk through. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, you can kind of see here uh, that, you know, the new newly constructed lanes here will, will have live traffic on. Um, and so if you're making this right turn movement here, you will be kind of on the new southbound lanes. Um, uh, so you'll be going through here. That's where the bus will go. They, they make this right turn and they'll be going in the bus. Uh, pull out and then you'll be kind of going down to one lane here and you'll have your one lane out and so you'll be able to turn in there at brendan but if you're coming just southbound on fish um then you'll still be kind of in uh you know on this side um kind of where you're at now and uh you'll be transitioning similar to what you're doing right now but you won't be able to make that right turn into brendan so just kind of keep that in mind if, if you need to get in there um you know you can always go further south and, and kind of turn turn right and then loop back um, but brendan won't be an option from from going southbound on fish um, so yeah it's and good to know and then you got the trail the pedestrian trail or those trails uh changed a little bit there yeah for sure yeah so we were we were kind of uh i guess this movement wasn't as as comfortable now we're kind of bringing that back and people actually putting folks in what will be kind of the long-term uh, crosswalk there so we'll get striping out there It'll look, you know, somewhat like it will long term, but you know, obviously, some things will be in temp and and kind of as we start to switch. But yeah, definitely, we're starting to open it back up. You're starting to see more and more of what it's going to look like, and then we're really going to hit this uh, north half hard um, coming up the next couple uh, couple weeks. So. Perfect. Yeah, no, glad, glad you're able to show us that. That uh, gives a better visual there of uh, what's going on uh, at the uh, McKee intersection anyway. So we'll uh, keep keep people up to date on that. Um, jumping over, well, actually, before we switch over, any other uh, updates on Fish Hatchery Road as far as that project goes? Uh, you know, those are really the big ones. Um, you know, you'll note, you know, basically, we're starting to get 
a lot of the curb and gutter work done. Um, you know, in the remaining week, we're going to be, you know, installing some signal poles. Uh, you know, most of that work has been done. We're starting to uh, energize our, our traffic signals and our, our, street, and our, and our street lights. Um, next week, you know, we're going to be moving on to the north half of McKee. Uh, there's going to be some relocation work for the utilities. The week after that, um, we're going to be doing uh, concrete on the north side of, of McKee, some fine grading up on the north half of Caddis, and then um, you know, kind of prep for getting those last areas um, that you're still seeing open rock um, paved in, you know, in the next month or so. So. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of exciting work. You know, you'll note, you know, we're really shooting for end of October, you know, to, to get the majority of this done. So we're really going to be wrapping up a lot of things in the next couple of weeks. So I'm definitely excited about that. And we're still on schedule. So um, that, that works. Yeah, we'll, yep. uh, we'll hope for the rain to hold off here uh, <laughs> as we wrap up here uh, for the fall. Uh, transitioning over then to a closure on McCoy Road, we've got some work on the railroad uh, crossing there. Tell us about this project. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the railroad's replacing their ties through that crossing, and um, that will be both the crossing of McCoy itself um, at the railroad tracks and at the uh, Wisconsin Southern uh, Railroad tracks and the adjacent Capital City Trail uh, crossing there as well. And so they'll be closing all of that starting tomorrow through September 14th. Um, so, you know, please note, you know, they'll have, they'll certainly have signs out there that they already have some out there now, but, um, you know, note that, you know, there's not a lot of great detours and, you know, they're trying to keep this as tight as possible and get the work done as quickly as possible. But, um, I know it's going to inconvenience a lot of folks, but, you know, please just be mindful of that as you head out, certainly on the trail and also driving. Um, we already have some other closures there from the bridge work, uh, for, you know, for the ramps, that sort of thing. So. There's a lot going on. In addition, just kind of segueing into um, the race. Uh, so uh, we do have the Ironman race uh, on Saturday. And so there will be some additional kind of closures. You know, we'll still have local traffic only for folks, you know, living up, up in, in that neck of the woods, you know, off of McCoy. But uh, by and large, you know, kind of try to steer clear of that area will be the race will come down MM, uh, cut over on Irish, and then go down Wayland, um, but uh, and then come back kind of Irish and up to MM. And so there will be some delays in there. Um, you know, we'll we'll be stopping folks, uh, you know, here and there to to, to let some of the uh, cyclists through. So uh, just please be mindful. You know, to, you know, there's kind of a couple different uh, projects going on in addition to the race. So. A lot of kind of different closures so keep keep your eyes out for the signage there and, and drift slow yeah it's uh it was planned ahead so all of this uh is coordinated like you had mentioned so uh with the bridge work uh, and the closure uh, for the railroad stuff that's still uh all planned as part of the routes and uh for for iron man uh that is and then uh finally wrap up on uh the work that's been going on on south saying road that uh, continues with the water main uh work yeah, so the Mormon main work's still uh, working down its way down. Uh, they're, they're north of Irish still, uh, but yeah, they're kind of in that area. And um, and so they'll be continuing working south, uh, uh, So, but Irish will still be open for this weekend. And then um, I'll, I'll note that the reconstruction work will kind of follow that. And so we'll start up at uh, the Tar Tarpley Work uh, Hills neighborhood. Um, and we're looking at starting to grind that on the 17th or so, um, kind of that Friday or the following week. Um, so really that's gonna be when that neighborhood work starts getting going and then we'll follow up with the signing work after that gets done. So, um, so yeah, so still kind of progressing and then we'll, try to get this all paved up before uh, October 30th. Well, that's a lot of updates right there, Andrew. I appreciate your time. Uh, if people want to find out more on uh, any of the construction projects happening, where can they do that? Yeah, definitely on the website. We try to get the um, postings even on the, the front page when we have some of these uh, you know, big high level closures. And then also, you know, certainly the public works page um, kind of diving down into the project. So. Um, and, and, you know, we're, we're, get, we're doing more with our VMS signs. So when you're driving out there, you should see those and just feel free to give us a call if you ever have any questions about that. All right, Andrew, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Stay safe out there and we'll check in with you real soon. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. You too. You bet. Uh, Andrew McFan from our Public Works Department, uh, engineer. Uh, and uh, again, check the website for uh, the latest on uh, the projects out there uh, going on.
Take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh. You could be spreading the coronavirus without realizing you have it. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and do your part. It's important to limit in-person interaction with anyone outside of your immediate household. But phone and video chat are safe ways to connect. It's also important to limit any social gathering. This advice applies to people of any age, including teens and younger adults. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. Brandon met a girl on a dating app. He finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being- Hey, sorry I didn't respond, I was driving. She must be a keeper. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. Ready! We don't have time for spells. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you too. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me today from the Fitchburg Public Library, which is now fully open. We've got Rebecca and Kristen here. Uh, hello, uh, ladies, and welcome back to the show. How are you both doing today? Doing well, thank you. Great, thank you, yeah. Well, thank you for being here. And we've got some fun stuff to talk about. We'll start with the youth uh, library. And uh, we uh, have been promoting this on uh, Talking Fitchburg during our headlines. Uh, we saw that there's a new book for the Story Walk. Uh, Kristen, tell us about this. Yeah, super excited. It's one of my favorite new books that came out recently. It's called The Magical Yet. And anyone who has been told lately or everyone who's been told lately that they can't do something yet um, will really like this book. And then, you know, there's a time when it, stuff works out for all of us and so you can read this book you head over to mckee farms park and if you park near the big shelter that's where it starts and it just if you walk along the loop you can read the whole book and the pictures are just gorgeous so i highly recommend it's beautiful out and take advantage of this weather and go read the book yeah so do you guys is there like 10 books out there with the pages turned or how do you how do you make this work for uh, people who don't so know what we do uh, is about we, it yeah we get two copies of the book and that way we can have you know use the one side of the page so that you know and then the one will be on the back so we get two copies we just take the book apart and then we um, post them in there so there's two pages on each sign and there's 18 signs wowza so you got to be very careful on what books you pick too, right? So it fits, yeah, they, uh, fits they in there. Fit. They have to be the right length. And most picture books are kind of follow a similar standard. So that helps quite a bit. Gotcha. Why did something, uh, yeah, what you know, right? What you know. <laughs> All right. How about uh, uh, virtual uh, events? You still got some virtual stuff going on. Yeah, we have um, two virtual or three virtual events every week. Um, there's always a Monday story time room. And then we're gonna do six weeks on, two weeks off. It's kind of our old story time routine. So that starts Monday, a new story time session, and that'll go through um, October 18th. Every Monday those are posted and it's just an interactive story time room. So you can click on the book and then I read the story to you or click on the song and I'll sing it. Um, and then there's two other virtual programs each week. Um, varies from crafts to um, songs, there's um, bilingual options, um, there's reader's advisory, all of that type of thing. And that's all on our Facebook page. Fantastic. Sing is it hard to sing like <laughs> with nobody like around? Like, is that, that's it gotta be really tough. Is. <laughs> you know, I'm as much as it's hard to sing in front of a large group, it's a little easier when you have a little, some people looking at you and interacting with you. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It'd be hard to get into it, I guess. Maybe that'd be the, the right way of saying yep. it. Uh, <laughs> final thing, uh, which uh, I'm so glad that uh, this is continuing to be offered is the take and make kits. Uh, those have been working out really well. Tell us about right. those. Yeah, those are a lot of fun. So every Tuesday and Friday, we offer take and make activities um, for ages two to five and six to 12. So those you can just pick up. There's a table sitting right outside the kids area of the library. Um, so every Tuesday and Friday, if there's leftovers, you can pick them up during the week, but we replenish them every Tuesday and Friday. 
Fantastic. Well, great stuff uh, happening down the youth part of the library. Let's check in with the adult side of the library. And uh, Rebecca, you've got uh, three different book clubs going on right now. Yes, we do. And starting this month, we will have the opportunity to meet in person again for these book clubs. Um, for both the Wednesday morning book club, which meets the third Wednesday of the, every month at 10 a.m., and the evening book club, which meets the third Thursday of every month at 7 p.m., um, those will have an option to be both virtual or in person. So you can choose whether you would like to attend in person in our meeting room um, and or via Zoom. Um, we'll be using the meeting owl, and that's a really nice setup. So whichever you prefer to do, uh, that's great. And then our Good Yarn Book Club meets on the first Thursday of every month at 11.30 a.m., and that will be uh, fully in person. Awesome. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, I mentioned off the top that uh, we're back to the regular hours. What does that look like? So that means that every Monday through Thursday, we are open from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. every Saturday, Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. And every Sunday now, starting this weekend from 1 to 5. Wow. That's a lot yeah. of a uh, lot of uh, opportunity to, to come out uh, and see the library uh, and do uh, some back to normal uh, uh, things. We still have got the mass mandate going on here in Dane County, so uh, that still applies. Uh, if you are coming out to any of the city properties here uh, as part of the Dane County or Public Health of Madison in Dane County, I always say it backwards. Um, uh, also, the meeting rooms are uh, open as well. Yes, they are. And you can make reservations for meetings up to 90 days in advance. Um, and our conference room sits all uh, around the table and up to 20 if you want to get really snug. Um, and then the meeting room can hold up to 50 at this time. All right. Well, that's a lot of activities, a lot of good stuff happening at the library. Uh, thank you both for uh, jumping on and uh, being a part of uh, this. And we'll come and see you at the library. Yes. Please do. Welcome. All right, uh, Chris and Rebecca, part of the uh, great staff there at the library, said stop on out, regular hours, and all the stuff we talked about today is out on the website. So you can go out there, FitchburgWI.gov, click on library. We'll wrap up here, uh, take a break. More to come. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. Short and sweet. All right. See on page four that the projections need to be blood. Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So? I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is, prediabetes can be reversed, and for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. If you love them enough to suck the snot out of their nose at 4 a.m., then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Wrapping up the show for the day, I want to thank our friends from the library and Andrew McFadden from our Public Works Department Engineering uh, with all the construction update. Latest headlines, everything we talked about today, it's in the headlines uh, that we post out on Facebook and YouTube. I suggest you uh, click on those because we went through so many different things and a lot of stuff happening this weekend. I want to make sure you're able to find those uh, and uh, get the information you need. Have a fun and safe weekend and enjoy Fitchburg this weekend.